Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing and we've got a special edition today we've got Dale Nichols from uh, the West Midlands ringing in and Dale, as usual, is raging Hello there Dale, how are you doing? I've just been telling the hardcore boxing fans on the channel that Dale Nichols going to be phoning in today and he is raging so away you go Dale Hello mate, how are you doing? I'm alright mate, how are you? Yeah mate, I'm very good, I'm very good What did you think to boxing at weekend Dale? Dale. You mean three one? I had I had Callum Smith three one up, three four rounds. Three or four rounds up at the end, you mean, yeah? At, at, at the end of round four, I had three one. Oh yeah, yeah. The first few rounds were hard to score, weren't they? But from rounds five onwards, I felt it was very easy to score. It was Ryder. Yeah. Clear, I think the four maybe sort of rounds eleven and twelve were very, very clear. John Roy the rounds. Yeah, Andy Lee gave them rounds to uh, the last round to uh, Callum Smith, didn't he? Andy Lee and Eddie Hearn did. Yeah, he, he, he was all he was holding on for dear life in the last round. It was Callum Smith. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was going it last round. Do you think, Dale, that uh, do you think that we were looking at two Euro level fighters go at it? People have got him in his pound per pound list, haven't they? Yeah. Do you think Eubank beats him? What about Billy Joe? No, I think Callum Smith would beat, would beat Billy Joe as well. Do you? Yeah, I do, I do. I do think Callum Smith is a good fighter, but Saturday night, he got dragged into a fight that he should never have got dragged into. He should have boxed at range, and instead of trying to go for, try and land big combinations of big shots and trying to force a stoppage, he should have Because the, the consensus is, if on social media, uh, and the emails that I've had, uh, uh, the John, John Ryder was a clear winner. It was not a robbery. No. There is many fights out there that have been called robberies that are not robberies. Andre Ward against Sergei Koblev won was not a robbery. Golovkin against Canelo, both of them fights, were not robberies. Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder was not a robbery. This fight was not a robbery. Uh, okay. Did John Ryder rip the belt away from Callum Smith? No. No, he didn't. No. Not that that's how you should be scoring world title fights, but 
Do you think now that everybody's... Do you think that... Do you think, Dale, that... Go on. Who shouldn't? That is, unfortunately, the way of the world. You do have to go to the champion's backyard and rip the belt away. You've got to win eight clear rounds. Or get a draw, drop them. I just think that Terry O'Connor, his scorecard was, was a disgrace. It was a disgrace. I don't see how you can't have give John Royder five rounds that fight. I cannot get me around that. Some of the earlier rounds could even have been shared. Yeah. But I, I try to avoid 10-10 rounds if I can. Do you think that, uh, because over the years, obviously, the Smith brothers, all four of them, they're all, they're all from Liverpool, and uh, when they used to be in the amateur setup, they used to... Uh, they used to put pressure on judges. Do you think that's followed them into the pros and that's why they're unpopular? Well, we've coined the phrase the Stouse Mafia, haven't we? Yeah. And that consists of the four Smith brothers and Tony Bellier. Yeah. And of course, Big Truck David Price. The Stouse Mafia. Yeah. None of them, none of them have ever achieved No, he'd have got, he'd have got, he'd have got destroyed. He wouldn't have even got into it. No, do you think that Callum Smith, we've been uh, five years at WBC, is your phone distorted, Dale? No, why? No, it's it just, it's making a funny noise, your phone. That's better. Is that, is that better. Yeah. Do you think, Dale, that uh, Callum Smith uh, was obviously? If I go on to box it now, which I'm not going to do, I'm just going to leave the fans, uh, boxing fans, with a picture of Tesco on the front. But uh, do you think that Callum Smith, we all them WBC international and silver belt fight, do you think he was milked by Joe Gallagher and they waited it out until Groves? And people like that till they got an opening. Do you think they just waited it out for everybody to leave? Because I know somebody who who, who, were, who were very close to Joe Gallagher, and he were, he was visiting a, a friend of mine's gym, and he said that they struggled at the weight at 168, but they weren't going to 175 because of the bogeymen, you know, Beterbia, Kovalev, people like that, and Bivol. Do you think that? Joe Gallagher waited it out with Callum Smith and wrapped him in cotton wool because he, he were he were a mandatory for over two years, wasn't he? Well, he's actually is he not older than Canelo. Pardon? Is he not actually older than Canelo, or am I wrong? He's twenty. No, he's about the same age as Canelo. He's twenty nine. Callum, he's very young. He's very. I know he looks older than Stephen Smith. He's thirty four, and I think he's the best one out at lot. Yeah, 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 I suppose, yeah, yeah, scarred in it. Frank Smith. Frank Smith at matchroom with spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're all spotty, isn't they? Yeah. But, uh, but getting back to, uh, getting back to what we were talking about, who, who's Callum Smith's best five wins? Well, you'd have to say, obviously, Groves would be in there as one. John Roy now would also be in there. Um, Probably Scotland, Rubras and Fielding. Is that it? Oh, I don't know, Hassan and Dan, but he, he shot the fucking pieces, didn't he? He was a middleweight though, wasn't he? Shot to pieces, really. He's a middleweight getting in with your light heavy, isn't he, basically? And what about... What, 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 what a waste of a year for Callum Smith, really. Yeah. Um, you've got... The, he, won, he won the WBSS last September. They were calling every man on his dog out. Then they shipped him out to the States on a fucking Joshua undercard, fighting a, a career middleweight. And then he fights John 
one rider. They, they can talk all they want about Callum can only get up for the big fights. Well, ask yourself the question, why hasn't he had the big fights then? Probably, well, probably because he doesn't sell a ticket. All this obsession with Anfield. Are you telling me they're going to sell Anfield out? Well, he said before, hasn't he, Eddie, that Anfield's very expensive. Um, I think they're just giving them... What what you get in boxing, right, and, and, I, and I see it on a daily basis, and, I mean, I, I go into meetings, me, and some of the things that I hear... After the meeting, I blow my top, and I'm told, "Why, why, why do you always have to blow up like that?" And I'm saying, "Because we're being, you're just coming out with a load of. I'm not going to say who, but I just because you're just coming out with lip service. You're paying people lip service, and well, this is how it goes. And I, and I just, I lose my mind over some of the stuff that I see, and and I think that Eddie Earn. He's just paying the Smiths lip service. They can't sell out the Echo Arena." Right, with Bellew and all the Smiths on, Big Chuck, Derry Matthews, Tom Farrell, Masha Dodd, and all the rest of them, right, Arthur Birkenhead, they can't sell out the Echo Arena with every that's Liverpool exactly. fighter that's ever fought on. They could even, they could put John Conti on there as well, and they couldn't sell it out. It's not a fight in town. All this about it being a fight in town and mad boxing fans. Where are they all? It's a football town, isn't it? The, the kings of football, that's it. They're not. It's not a mad fight town, is it, like Manchester? No, no, you're right. You I, know, a bit more Birmingham, really. We're not a mad fight city. No, are you aware? I mean, Cal Yafai can't sell out Bert, the NEC, can he? That's why they're not going back there. It's not like Newcastle. But, it's already before they yeah. did Mas Macklin on as well, didn't they? I mean, yeah. Macklin, Mac Mac Macklin's anything, anything you're telling me it needs to be, though, isn't he? I mean, he was, he was Irish one week. And Manchester, a Mancunian, yeah. wasn't he, one year? Yeah, yeah, he's fucking been a lot in, eh? I'm, I'm Irish and I'm Brummie and I'm Mason. I'm fucking yeah. That. You're a fucking company man, Matthew Macklin, that's what you are. Yeah, but getting back to Callum Smith, Eddie Hearn going on about pound for pound and Joe Gallagher. Joe Gallagher's basically a trainer that likes to pr promote Joe Gallagher. That's what he is. Joe Gallagher's a businessman. He's made himself into a millionaire off the back of other people. That's what it's he's absolutely done. Absolutely right. I think disgusting. That interview on IFL is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Trust me, I wouldn't have been on a million quid for that. And, uh, and, and what cut of that is Tesco Jones. Because he's not just the trainer, is he? He's the manager as well. He's on a third of everything they make. But all them Smiths, he's had a third of everything they've ever made. He's basically Pimp Daddy. None of them leave him though, do they? I think, I'm They're all tied up, aren't they? Quig's the only one that left him, and that would have money. I agree, another yeah. money. It's funny, it's funny old world, and it's funny old world. He keeps it out a very tight knit little group there. I was like a bursting against Bugliano. They were fucking lobbying for that rematch as well, weren't they? Right? Well, look how he muscled in on Billy Graham's gym, and and uh, with Kerry Case. Kerry Case threw him out at Jimmy, and sent. He threw him out. Then he offered to start paying rent. A bit late in day when you've been there years not paying anything, but walking around in a CMP t-shirt, Kerry Kay's fired him out. He went running to Amir Khan. Amir let him take that gym on there. He never paid a penny there. He's got Peter Fury's gym now on Alleywell Road in Bolton. He's training from there now. Obviously, he's got it's his own nice gym now. Bloke, it? Hey? It's just, it's not a very nice bloke. He's not a nice bloke at all, Joe Gallagher. He's rubbed a lot of people up the wrong way. Joe, if you've got a problem, come see me. There you go. My opinion, anyway, on it all was John Ryder was arsed to two on the scorecards. However, it was a very, very close fight. I had it to Smith. I will rewatch and rescore, but it was not a robbery. No. No, well, I mean, I, I thought it was. I, I'm of the opinion, right? If I think somebody's won, right, by a couple of rounds, and then judges have got it six rounds the other guy, well, how, how are we eight rounds apart in a 12 round fight? What are they watching? So I always scream robbery. I mean, people scream that Darrell were robbed against Frotch to me, but Darrell had a point took off him, which is like a knockdown, isn't it? And he didn't rip the belt off him. But Ryder didn't rip the belt, so if we're going to use that term, we have to look at the other side of the coin, don't we? But I felt that John Ryder did enough to win the fight, and maybe the scorecards, maybe the 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 med, med so it with screaming robbery. Maybe if it had been to Callum Smith by a round on everybody's cards, we won't be screaming robbery. Yeah, I think that's the issue right here. I think that the, the scorecards are so wide. That it felt almost like premeditated. If, yeah, it felt like you were never going to get a look. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I can understand completely that argument. Yeah. When did he do that? When he got stopped, didn't he, by Ian John Lewis against uh, Carson Jones? He was booting cones backstage. Do you know Ian John and Lewis? Lewis? Conlon swearing on TV against dodgy decisions at the Olympics. You know, you've seen yeah. Colin Malinaji live on HBO swearing at 80 odd year old blokes because he's upset at a decision. You know, at the end of the day, John Ryder conducted himself in a very, very professional manner. And off the back of that, he deserves another big opportunity. Yeah. To be honest with John Ryder, right, uh, and I, I've spoke to a few people about him and they all say he's a top kid. Carl Froch says, do you know what, he's a lovely kid, John Ryder, very nice kid from a nice family. He's, he, he's most bo 90% of boxers have all got good manners, they're all disciplined, well disciplined, regimented people, 90% of them. I think it's just the, the, the people that are around them. The, 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 the problem when they get into their heads, the other 10% of them. But John Ryder, he's got a good reputation, he's a good person, and he's and that's basically it, really. He doesn't take sides, and he's very quiet, uh, very good fighter on inside, very good fighter. And, he, he, and, he, and he's strong, he's got short arms, he's very strong and powerful. And like I said, if you look through John Ryder's uh, record, right, have a look at John Ryder's record. 
And look at the losses that he's got. Nick Blackwell, you could say he just got caught there. He got he got careless. Billy Joe, he ran Billy Joe close, and he's supposed to be a technician, a surgeon. People keep talking about Billy Joe as this surgeon, don't they? Well, who practices his art? Well, John Ryder, that were a pick and fight after twelve rounds, wasn't it? And, and then there's the uh, the other ones, Rocky Fielding, I felt he were robbed in that fight, do you? Oh, he definitely beat Rocky Fielding. Rocky Fielding had a couple of gifts, really. I mean, I thought for Bryce Breeden as well. Rocky Fielding were in prize fight and he won it as a substitute. He only had one fight, didn't he? He turned up, from, he turned up had one fight and left with 30 grand or whatever it was. <laughs> Is Sam Eggington, didn't he win a prize fight? I don't, I don't think he won it. Oh. He was a reserve. Uh, yeah. I think um, he, he, got, he got into prize fighter and did all good. I think he's only been 18, 19. He's given a really bit of care for himself, didn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's, that's where the, the partnership with him and Eddie came from. Yeah. He's got to go down as one of the biggest over achievers this country's ever produced in the last 10 years. Sam Eggington, what, British Commonwealth and European champion and beat Polly Malignaggi as well? Yeah, and beat Malignaggi, a former two-weight champion, and ended up ended up with about five houses. Ended up with about five houses out at job as well. He's done well, hasn't he, Eggington? Yeah, and he's still about 28, and he's not. It's about 25, isn't he? 26. Yeah, he's dead young, and he, uh, yeah. Really, a fork truck driver, wasn't he? He's a he's a nice lad, and uh, yeah. Up to two a few times. He's got two final great by me. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm 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 raging over over the rider thing, but I don't think you are. You're you're more of a Callum Smith won it and Ryder didn't do enough. Is that what you're saying? I just I'm not I'm not too pent up about it because I think it's 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 the problem that I've got is with how wide the scores were, uh, but I, 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 it wasn't a robbery. It wasn't a robbery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, One thing that certainly wasn't a robbery was Walker against Ortiz. The man is an absolute killer. Yeah. Who's a killer? Deontay Wilder. Oh. He, he, he's savage, isn't he? He's the baddest man on the planet, isn't he, at the moment? He's the baddest ever man, isn't he? He is. He's a, he's a bad, bad man with bad intentions. Everything he throws is with bad intentions. He's got dynamite in both hands. That right hand lands. is good fucking night. Yeah, and you know uh, Tyson Fury, does he want to fight him February 22nd? He might want the paycheck, but if he can stay in WWE and get the same sort of money, why on earth is he going to put it all away? on the line to get in there with all because that's what fighters are doing here yeah and, 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 you know Tony Bell you talk about it a lot and, and a lot of the others you know we fought for our lives on the line yesterday but when you're getting in there with a fight it'll be on paywall that you, you truly are putting your life on the line yeah you are yeah and this is why I don't think it's going to happen but you know they're, they're all shouting off it press about it and that and and there's a uh, couple of scenarios that I can see yeah Dillian White, right, has not fought for a European title yet, and he's had four pay-per-views. Yeah. What did you think to Hatman Strikes Back's videos, every other videos, hammering Deontay Wilder and Ortiz? They're hammering the show about ticket sales and every other video. What do you think about that? Is he on matchroom payroll? Well, they sold more tickets than Fury did when he fought Tom Schwartz and Otto Wallen 
Yeah, yeah, so... And that's a fact. Yeah, but he, he's quick to hammer anything that's uh, a rival of Matchroom's, isn't he, Hatman? What do you think? You think he's up match on payroll, Dale? Yeah, probably. Yeah, anyone that, that, that's willing to sit the licks in. And they've got a bit of a following online. They're, uh, they're, they're credible, they're nice for match room. That's exactly what they want. Yeah. In, influencers, people out there who can influence a couple of thousand people who watch their videos. Um, they'd probably be, you know, if, if, you were, if you were PC, they'd be on you as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had enough problems of my own at the moment with with social media, we Twitter and stuff like that. Well, oh, it's. Uh... I thought that the Sky production team were pissed off sometimes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that Nelson, he needs credit where credit's due. He called it that he felt that John Ryder won, and he stuck to his guns, even when Bellew was down his throat today with him. Yeah, yeah, but John. Johnny Nelson can't stand Joe, Joe Gallagher though, can he? Can't stand him. They, no, they can't. Gallagher's not popular in Ingle, Jim. But uh, and he, he's Tony Sims's mate as well, and he. But I do agree with him. I thought Ryder won, but it's opinions, isn't it? They're like arseholes, Everybody's got them. But getting back to Johnny Nelson, uh, well, I think he's biggest company man that's ever lived, isn't he? I mean, one minute, right? Yeah, oh, Macklin's. Mac yeah, Bean and Macklin are best mates now. They're the like Starsky and Hutcher boxing, aren't they? Matthew Macklin and uh, and Mr. Bean. But Johnny Nelson, what? Why? Why I give Johnny Nelson a stick on here is he'll come on Sky and he'll play the company man but then he'll go on AFL and he's giving it all this blood clot all this ras clot and all this uh, urban Jamaican yardy gangster talk to Coogan and he, he, and then next minute he's on Sky and he's give, he, you know he's he's turning into company man at year so you, I don't you don't know what you get you get in with Johnny Nelson he's a man of many faces isn't he it's a bit like Tony Bellew, you know, the dis disappearing man. <laughs> the man that we, we see more of Tony Bellew now than when he was fighting. But he was going to disappear, wasn't he? Disappear, but he's on anything and everything, isn't he? Tony Bellew, oh my God. How many champions did he beat in his career? Well, glued together day by day. Yeah, but how many I belts did he day. take off a champion or were they all vacant? Never beat a champion. And in ABAs, did he beat a champion? Because I'm not sure if he beat a champion in ABAs because they're vacant belts, aren't they, every year? It's a tournament, yeah, innit? I'll, I'll just tell them all. The guys are never after. You never like... He tries to speak to come across as a man of the people, but... Yeah, but he's never really got to the point where he's a man of the people. Right, let me just uh, change camera over onto part two, mate, because we're approaching 30 minutes, two seconds. For all you new subscribers who've not subscribed, press the subscribe button and uh, you'll get your notifications straight to your phones because you need your porky fix, don't you? 